All right, what's up guys? We've got another custom e-bike, neither? Got another custom e-bike build for you. This one is the TCR Alliance by Giant. This is definitely a road bike. This has got little tiny skinny tires. I think they're like 700 by 26 or something. Zero tread on them. There's a like track tires. They're actually a little low. Um, so yeah, this is actually obviously a drop bar bike. So we had to do a couple interesting things to this. If you've seen any of my other drop bar bikes, you'll see how you know we convert them. Okay, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I convert bikes professionally. I also sell custom e-bike components if you want to convert the bike you have into a bike like this. It doesn't have to be this exact style, but maybe you got a mountain bike, maybe you got a cruiser, maybe you got some thing you built yourself. I don't know. Either way, it should be electric. Do it justice. It wants to be electric. Give it what it wants. So this is a carbon fiber bike. This one is super light. Um, even adding a motor and a battery to it. But I'd say it's about 35, 40 pounds maybe. This is still super light. This thing is still gonna fly. It feels, even with the motor and battery on it, pedaling it was effortless. Okay, so let's go over it. It's got rim brakes. People are like, oh no, rim brakes on an e-bike, you're gonna die. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true, you're never gonna die. That's just a fact, nobody, nobody ever dies. You definitely wanna keep them calibrated, keep the pads good. But you know, a bike like this, that's fine. It stops really good. It stops really good. Better than some disc brakes, actually. A lot of disc brakes, I would actually venture to say. So this is a carbon fiber frame. Generally, I kind of avoid, tell people to avoid doing carbon fiber frames. I'm starting to ease up on my stance on that. Um, you just wanna take a look at the bottom bracket. If it's, yeah, you just wanna be careful. And there are tor torque arms that you can use, so you don't have to tighten this all the way down. You could use a torque arm on it to kind of take away some of that leverage, still be careful with it, venture at your own risk. I still would say probably don't do it unless you've done 10 conversions. And then you might wanna try a carbon and see, maybe start on a cheap carbon. That being said, let's just go over what we did to it. Let's start up here. We got the 850C color display. This is nice. It has a USB port under here so you could charge your rechargeable headlights, cell phone if you're going out for a century ride or whatever. Um, we got a throttle here. We had to mount it using the, what is it called? The throttle bob or handle bob? I think it's called the handle bob. I'll put a link to everything that we put uh, in the description. If you were like, what? what is that? Let's check the description. I'll put a link to it. It's got the integrated levers here, the horn levers. So you, we got to put in uh, inline brake cutoffs for these. You can't just replace these levers with, you know, ones. And I strongly recommend using brake cutoffs. People are like, do you need it? You don't need it, but man, it's it's definitely good. It saved me countless times from like my pedals either accidentally moving and then the motor thinks that you're going and it'll send a bunch of power, but really I'm just off walking it like through like turnstiles or something and then you are accidentally bump it and boom, it wants to go. It could be dangerous. So I like to do this, apply slight brakes to it so that the motor thinks you're braking. Yeah, just go. This is a 48 volt. 17 and a half amp hour battery pack. So very good range, almost 900 watt hours. Bike like this, this will get you 40, 70 miles. It all depends on how, how you ride. You either go fast or you go far, you choose. We got a stock chain ring, 44 tooth, BBS02, 750 watt mid drive motor. Uh, we got a gear shift sensor on it right here. So let's go ahead and take it for a spin and see what it does on performance test. So I'm gonna test it on a hill climb. It's like a 30% grade. Uh, at the worst spot in the lowest gear only throttle and then I'm gonna try top speed only throttle as well Okay, so you can see I know I'm gonna get so many questions of like 31 miles an hour for top speed on this thing I know, I can't quite figure it out myself. I'm thinking it's because I had these low, like I shouldn't, this thing should be rock hard and I'm able to put a little pressure on them. So these things need to be filled up. I'm thinking that might be it. Also, I don't give myself tons of runway. So if I had more runway, I'm thinking like high 30s for this bike should be no problem. Um, even with 48, obviously 52 volt battery will get you like one or two more miles per hour. Top speed, still should be like mid 30s I would think. All right, cool. But yeah, this is a nice, fun bike. Total cost on this bike, I would say, it'd be about 1150, I would say, if you wanted to do this yourself for the gear shifter, display, motor, and battery combo like this, about 1150, somewhere around there, 1100, 1150. 
depending on market price. You know, boat, motors and batteries are like fish. Just depends on the market <laughs> and shipping and all that stuff. All right, cool. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm sure somebody will be able to answer them if I can't. So, all right. Have a good one, guys. Later.